Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And oh baby, do we have some big time information to talk about right now today in FIFA Ultimate Team. Just literally minutes ago, Footwatch, which is a very reliable source that knows the code of the car designs and the packs that go into FIFA Ultimate Team, has just tweeted out a new car design and some pack code that we need to take a look at because this has huge implications on the game for this weekend during the road to the final promo um, and through the rest of FIFA honestly one of these car designs or this car design right here this is the La Liga player of the month car design as you can tell this is kind of like the La Liga symbol in the background here like the the circle with the outline it kind of resembles uh, the La Liga logo right here. So that is what this car design is. It took a little bit uh, of for us to kind of maybe figure this out. At first, I maybe thought it was Black Friday, but then I was like, wait a second. This kind of resembles the League One Player of the Month just in the way that it looks. So yes, to me, it does look like the La Liga Player of the Month, which is incredible. I mean, you know, we already have League One Player of the Month, which gives us the opportunity for Player of the Month um, Mbappe, Player of the Month Neymar, Player of the Month Ben Yedder, who should have won this month, but he didn't. And now we're going to have the opportunity for Player of the Month Griezmann's, Player of the Month Messi, Player of the Month De Young, Player of the Month Bale, Player of the Month, uh, Player of the Month B uh, Hazard. I said Bale twice almost. It, crazy opportunities for another Player of the Month SBC, and that's just honestly insane that we're going to have another Player of the Month SBC in FIFA. That just means more voting. And, uh, you know, more, honestly, more ways to make coins on this game if they value the SBC correctly. And it's just another thing that EA can use, uh, the tool that they have at their fingertips to uh, change the market and make the market move. So that's the first thing I want to mention. We're going to talk about the second thing more. Uh, but yes, this is the new La Liga Player of the Month card design tweeted out by Footwatch right here. Uh, so that is cool. I would assume that we're going to look to find some more information on that here pretty soon. We'll have to look at the, uh, you know, do some research, looking at La Liga pages and figure out how they vote for that stuff. But this is the big one that I want to talk to you guys about right now. This is the pack code. I'm going to open the tweet this way so you can see it a little bit better maybe. Um, guarantees a team of the week player from week one to week eight and the current team of the week so we have guaranteed team of the week packs are in the code they are guaranteed and whenever we get code like this they drop it in the code and then it comes within the next two days either today or tomorrow we're gonna see a team of the week pack in my opinion now are they putting this into the code before black friday when the team of the week uh guarantee pack usually comes out it is a possibility but usually when they drop code like this the content comes within the next two Days. And as you can see, my friend Cripsy here, he says, we're stopping to look at this because uh, this is big time market changing. It's week one to week eight and the current team of the week. So that means that we can, team of the week number nine would be able to be packed from this SBC and technically team of the weeks after uh, team of the week nine. So you could save this pack. So let's say next week, Ronaldo gets in team of the week. You could pack a team of the week player from that current week as well. But I think it would be like one through eight and then week 10. I don't think week nine would be in that pack if you wait until next week. But I want to talk about what this SBC means and what it could do to the market by first taking a look at last year's team of the week upgrade SBC to kind of talk about could we possibly invest for this and the answer is yes because the earlier that you're seeing this video the earlier you might be able to invest last year the there were two team week upgrades there was the untradeable and the tradable the untradable upgrade uh cost you about somewhere between 21 and 27 thousand coins last year at black friday this exact sbc required an 83 rated squad with 40 chemistry so that's a very very easy upgrade sbc to do and the tradable one um, cost you about 46 to 50k somewhere in that range and this one required an 83 rated squad with two informs you had to, you had to put in two informs get 40 chemistry and have an 83 rated squad to complete this SBC from last year so there is a tradable and there is an untradable even though there's only one code that is in what footwatch has tweeted only one code that is in there that SBC, I would assume, would be tradable and untradable if they operate like they have years past. They do both the tradable and the untradable. 
version. So what does that mean? Well, Team of the Week cards one through eight are gonna be in packs. So if we actually look at the, let's just go versions, gold, informs, uh, and sort from high to low by price. There's a lot of cards that are obviously very cheap, but you have these upper echelon of players, all these guys over 100,000 coins, Lionel Messi, Mbappe, Mane, De Bruyne, Mertens, Griezmann, Coutinho, all of these cards are going to be available to be packed from this SBC. And I bet if we actually go look on the market right now, I wonder if we will see, especially on a guy like Mbappe, if anybody has started panic selling this Mbappe card already, because these are the types of cards that are going to get hit the hardest because they're going to get packed a lot. Of course, we have the compare price glitch that is not fixed yet. Um, how many of these cards have been listed in like the past 10 minutes? A few Mbappes maybe? Uh, 14, 1, 5, 0. Oh, okay, so there's definitely been a few cards that have been listed. You can't really tell if it's a, a panic selling or not. Um, but it's going to be interesting to watch some of these cards prices over here on Footbin because these cards are going to drop. If you have any of these cards in your team, please sell them, get them out of your club because they're going to drop exponentially when this SBC comes out. As long as the SBC isn't way, way overpriced, but we'll watch that market movement. But the first thing that I would say, if you have a Griezmann, Coutinho, a Lewandowski, a Nangolan, anything, honestly, even the Ben Yedder, 310k, get it out, please. De Jong, Dybala, of course, Messi, like, please take the coins on that as quick as you can before these drop any further because they're going to be in packs a lot and people are going to smash these packs, even if the packs are overpriced. Like last year, they required, um, it was like 30,000 30, coins for the untradeable SBC. Even if they make this 40K this year, um, it's going to be nuts. People are going to go crazy for these SBCs. People go crazy for SBCs all year long. Um, and this is the SBC that people can stack and they try to save them and all kinds of stuff. So that's what I want to say about that. Now, one other thing we can think about is possibly some informs on the other end of the spectrum, which I'm going to go to a different page for cheapest players by rating. And we're going to look at the cheapest informs as of right now. So obviously people want to do the tradable version of the pack, right? So what makes that pack go up in price and what makes them put a team a week requirement in? Well, First off, all the off the bat, you need an 83 rated squad and people are going to have to use buy two informs or use two informs from their club to start that SBC. So think about it this way. If they're requiring two informs for that tradable SBC and you're only getting one out of the pack, you're putting in two, you're getting one. You're going to go have to buy another one to continue doing the SBC. Now, yes, there are some that are getting packed at the same time and getting listed up on the market, but people do those SBCs over and over and over and that makes the 82, 83, 84 rated informs rise up a little bit as people do those SBCs. So if you're able to get on, and right now when I'm recording this, a lot of the informs are cheap. They're like 11, 12K. Get yourself some 82s. Get a couple 83s and 84 informs. Just basically do a club stock of those if you have a lot of coins. And if you plan to do some of these SBCs, it might help you do it for cheaper. If not, you can We'll probably make some coins off of this once the SBC comes out. So again, this is the time where your discard inform investing will probably come in clutch because they haven't moved too much at all this year. Uh, but this is the type of SBC that's going to require a lot of informs and a lot of informs are going to be submitted for it. So I would definitely recommend doing a club stock on those. And then also on the gold cards, because think about it. You're turning in gold cards regardless for this SBC, 82 rated, 83 rated, 84s, maybe some 85s as well. Um, 82, 84s are up it's a smidge. I mean, we'd have some SBCs out in the game right now that are making those go up. 82s, though, look very low to me. If you're somebody who likes to go hard on SBC investing, 82 rated players at discard at 750 or 800 coins is a big time GG for me. And you're going to have weekend league rewards coming out here uh, really soon basically just after this video goes live. So you might have an opportunity to pick up some bids on 83s, 84s, and a couple 85s. I would definitely stock the club with the, as many of those as you can. Um, if you're somebody who likes to go unassigned, this would be an opportunity to go unassigned. If you really want to go for it, I'm not recommending it. That's not my favorite way to trade, but that is something you guys uh, can definitely look for and see uh in in this here definitely do a club stock at least like just go down here on the market we saw look at that Bellotti was one of the cheapest de rossi um cazorla 
Santi Cazorla as an 82 rated card is 850,000 coins. He's going to be so easy to link for chemistry. It says he's 900. You know, get you know during squad battle or weekend league rewards here in just a little bit, you can get out here and snag one of these for 850 coins. I'm just going to buy one for 900 because 50 coins doesn't matter to me. I'm going to chuck it in the club. I already have one. Perfect. My transfer list then. Real nice. Thank you, EA. I picked a good one. All right, let me try Bilotti as well. I don't think I have him in the club. If I do, I'm going to be pissed. Do I have Bilotti in the club? 850. He's not 850. He's not even 900. Okay, so that one on Footbin was an undercut. But you get the idea, especially during weekend league rewards in these next few hours. It's going to be a great time to pick up some of those cards. And th those SBCs, man, these SBCs, when they come out, team of the week guaranteed SBCs have massive market movements. They literally make crazy things happen on the market. I, I can't show you graphs last year, really, from some of the informs and some of the price tanks that they had. But this is huge for an inform like Coutinho um, because... Well, first of all, I can't show you those graphs from last year because last year at Black Friday, that some of the best of Team of the Week cards actually went back into packs. That is not the situation we're having here. But it looks like somebody has some Coutinho's and they're kind of listing them up right now for 379k, trying to get some deals and get them out of the club. Um, but these informs are going to fall. You're probably going to start to see these informs fall, honestly, right away because people are going to realize this SBC is coming. I don't want to have any of these informs in my club. They're going to go and sell some of those cards. And especially like a guy like Coutinho, whose inform is only in packs for like two and a half days because of ones to watch, you're going to see a massive correction in his price. Basically, these cards are just going to get hit with a ton of supply. Another one I'm very interested in is Sadio Mane. This inform is going to be in this SBC pack reward. He is down a little bit because of the road to the final card, um, but this card still is uh, a very, you know, it's a very, very used card in this game. You see one here with like a little bit of an open bid. Open bids are a sign of panic selling. I don't see too many Mane's being panic sold at the moment. Any informed Messi's being panic sold. Um, but you're going to see a lot of these cards dip down in price. And it's going to make very interesting market movements for cards that are similar to these. You're going to start to see panic selling on other areas because people are just going to, you know, get their coins because they know this SBC is coming. And again, if you guys have Thursday flips, I recommended that a lot of you guys buy Thursday flips this week. I would definitely say, without a doubt, please get out of those cards by 6 p.m. UK. And I hope that you bought, maybe, you know, we, we talked about buying out of packs in forms. There's probably still people that after weekend league rewards will be buying some of those cards up because they don't look on Twitter and they don't see the news that this pack is in the code or they won't understand that, like the just what that means for the game. But there's going to be people that definitely know what's going on with this pack and stuff like that too. So I would say if you're in weekend league investments, I don't even know if I'm going to be buying anything tonight. I might buy an icon. That would be the only thing if I was going to flip something or an inform or a scream card that just got way too low. That would be the, almost the only thing that I'm, that I'm looking at, to be honest, because those are the cards that aren't going to be affected by a team of the week pack. But they still could be affected because... Um, you know, people are panic selling to get coins for this SBC. People are going to do that. I'm going to be honest. This is the type of SBC that people will panic sell for and try to get their coins ready so that they can go do. I'm telling you, these team of the week SBCs are literally some of the most demanded SBCs in this game, just because you can pack anybody from team of the week player one, week one to week eight. I know you can't see it all because it's kind of behind my screen, um, but from week one right there, to week eight, you can literally pack any team of the week card. Uh, and if we run down again, those those team of the week one through eight, you can go on a foot bin, go to the team of the week tab and look through all of these team of the weeks. All of these cards are up for grabs. Uh, Thiago Silva, Coutinho, Alexander Arnold, Mares, and Diddy, Dybala. Some of the most used informs in the game like Semedo as well. Like this team of the week didn't get a ton of supply when it came out. Samedo is going to get supplied a lot. 84 rated card. You're going to see him get packed a ton. Some of these overpowered and very popular informs that are lower rated um, are, are going to drop a decent amount of price because they're going to get packed so much. Digne is another one that I think of. Or Theo Hernandez, a low rated card is going to get packed a lot. And this is going to mess with all 
prices all over the market as well because you're going to have Griezmann's inform drop lower. You're going to have Coutinho's inform drop lower. Lukaku's inform is going to drop lower, which might drag down the ones to watch a little bit. Um, and you're going to have people panic sell these cards because they're going to go try to the SBC. So you're going to see panic selling literally everywhere across the market. Icons, uh, road to the final cards. That's why if you guys haven't bought your road to the final cards yet, pump the brakes on that. Uh, watch and see what happens with rewards today. But if they release a team of the week SBC, there are going to be people that panic sell their road to the final cards, even though these are going out of packs in two days to go do this SBC. So literally these types of SBCs or this SBC guaranteed team of the week SBCs are market killers for this game. And it's surprising to me that it's in the code right now. I'm really curious to see if it comes this weekend um, or if it doesn't, I think you're gonna see a panic sell off either way and if we don't see anything on friday and if whatever happens with the new content if the market goes down 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 into friday because people are thinking this sbc comes then you might see a decent rebound friday afternoon depending on what content comes and what packs come as well because ea is not supplying these road to the final cards the first batch that is i mean we had 25k packs today um but the pack weight still seems to be pretty low so We'll cover that stuff as it comes up. We'll be talking about it here on the YouTube channel, of course, um, and on, on Twitter, of course, as well. Make sure you check the links below the description to get linked up with me there. So that's the information I have for you guys today. If you have informs, be careful with them. If they haven't dropped too much already, especially if it's a high rated, a very usable card, even a guy like DeYoung or uh, a guy like Wijnaldum at 170K, probably going to drop with this SBC because people are going to smash it over and over and over. Um, there will be a rebound on some cards too. So we'll talk about that in a later date when we really see this SBC out. And you know, maybe tomorrow we'll talk about that a little bit more as well. But I want to get this video out really quick for you guys to let you know what could happen with this SBC and kind of let you know what's going on with this on the market. So La Liga Player of the Month, Team of the Week SBC are coming soon in foot. We'll see what happens when they do come out. Hopefully you guys have a good luck and rewards. I mean, I give you my good luck and rewards. Get yourself that red Messi so you don't have to worry about getting the team of the week card, okay? Get that red Messi, red Tellez, whatever it is. If you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.